13 days after Floyd was killed by a Minneapolis, Minnesota police officer. People covered the lawn in front of the county courthouse this afternoon, spilling into the streets. Billings police planned for upwards of 1,000 at the rally. Organizers say it was over 1,300. We start our coverage with Q2's Mitch Laggy. Hundreds of people were lined up on the Yellowstone County Courthouse lawn Sunday, peacefully protesting the police killing of George Floyd, the African-American man from Minneapolis who died on May 25th in police custody. People led chants and held signs, hoping to shed light on police brutality across America. The protest started at 1 p.m., but people were already there about a half hour early. Across the street, on the sidewalk of 2nd Avenue North, local biker groups and gangs, militia groups, and Second Amendment advocates were lining the sidewalk. Most were carrying assault rifles. One man we spoke to said he was there to protect local businesses from possible looting. Defend local businesses, make sure there's no looting going on, make sure everyone has a nice, safe time here, and that's, that's why we're here today. Well, we've been watching the news and seeing all the destruction that's going on, and we don't want any part of that in our community here. Plenty of children were at the protest in the afternoon, most brought there by their parents. Many similar protests across the country have erupted into violence. When Billings' mom wasn't scared of that, she was trying to teach her black daughters how to stand up for what they believe in. One day I sat down with a friend of mine and really talked it out because it is a very serious, very real thing and it can happen at any moment. I think this is history and I feel it's very, very important to when you have a voice and to stand up and unite. Fortunately for the Billings community, the protest remained peaceful according to Billings Police. Around 2.30 p.m., police blocked off North 27th Street between 1st and 4th Avenue North. Police Lieutenant Brandon Woolley said that people were starting to move onto the street from the sidewalk, so they decided to close the street down. Law enforcement hasn't had to intervene besides just giving a, a good safe pathway for protesters to walk and maneuver, uh, but no arrests or anything like that so far. After police closed North 27th, the group of peaceful protesters walked around the block of the Billings Police Station downtown, eventually lying down in the middle of the street, the same position that George Floyd was in when he died. Police watched from elevated positions atop the Park 3 parking garage as to keep an eye on the protest. To cap it off around 3 o'clock, Mother Nature opened up the sky with a heavy rainfall that dispersed some of the protesters, although some opted to stick around lying down in the water in the middle of the street, protesting police brutality and the killing of George Floyd. In Billings, Mitch Laggy, MTN News.